New survey, half of Americans say they don't use sunscreen mostly because of the way it feels. Consumer Reports tested most popular brands to find some better options. Consumer Reports sensory experts have been given the task of smelling and rubbing different sunscreens on their skin to find the ones that are more pleasing to the senses. There's a slight beachy aroma. People complain that sunscreens can be greasy or look shiny or leave a white residue. I just don't like the, like the creamy, oily kind. It takes too long, it gets cakey. I don't like that. In these blind tests, the Consumer Reports panelists rub a quarter teaspoon on their arm and note its absorbency, the aroma, the feel, and the look on their skin. It rubbed in very quickly and there was very, very little residual. And the smell is important to some. In a Consumer Reports survey, 31% said they look for a tropical coconut scent, while nearly half prefer an unscented sunscreen. I think that fragrances tend to irritate your skin. They smell bad and they're gross. But there is hope for those who can't stand the smell or the feel. We did find sunscreens you might like a lot better and that our tests show offer good protection from the sun as well. The Aveeno Protect Plus Hydrate SPF 30 and from Walmart the Equate Sport Continuous Spray SPF 30 won't leave you shiny or greasy. If you want protection with a barely noticeable scent, consider Pure Sun Defense SPF 50 Lotion. For those who like a tropical scent, Banana Boat Sun Comfort Continuous a spray SPF 50 delivers a slight pina colada fragrance. It's always nice to smell like the beach. Well, Consumer Reports survey found women are more likely to use sunscreen by men than, than men, rather 57% compared to 43%. And if you prefer still not to use sunscreen, you can wear tightly woven clothing and a hat with a broad brim. So.